Okay, so in this video, this is a quick tutorial for my PSD indicator. And I want to talk about three things. I want to talk about the modes, um, the alerts, which is a new feature that I just added, and the customization features. So quickly, this PSP indicator, if you want to get it, you can find it in my pinned post on my Twitter page, or you can go to indicators. And if you search up QT space insights, you're going to find it under community. It's not going to show for me because I created the indicator. So it's only going to show up in my script. It's not going to show up in community. But if you search this up, QT insights, you don't even have to complete the entire thing. It's going to come up, right? So this is how it looks right out of the box, right? If I reset the settings, this is how it looks right out of, out of the box. And we have NQ, ES, and YM, right? So basically, for the modes, there's two modes, just two modes. One of those modes is precision candle, and the other mode is the precision swing point mode. Now, I don't want to explain what those are. This is not a lecture on quote a theory. Um, if you want to know the difference between both of those things are, um, you can check out my Twitter page, or you can just look it up on YouTube. There's probably some video out there that explains it, right? And this just toggles between those modes, and it colors those modes. And that's that for the modes. The second thing I want to talk about is the alerts. So in this version, I just added alerts. So if you want, let's say you're anticipating a 30 minute um, PSP, right? Let's say you're anticipating a 30 minute PSP and you're in the precision swing point mode. Um, I know a couple of people who use the 30 minute PSP in their models. All you want to do is to right click on the chart, right? You right click and what you want to do, you want to add an alert on NQZ 2025, blah, blah, blah. This is the asset, right? So you add alert. And when you come here, when you come to create alert, you choose the condition. And the condition is not going to be price. It's going to be the indicator, right? And you want to set it not to bullish PC, not to bearish PC, not to bullish PSP. You want to set it to TPD, right? And then you set it to TPD same as chart right if you want to set an alert on the 30 minute chart same as chart if you want to set it on the four hour you set it to four hour if you want to set it to a day you set it to a day right and you set the trigger to once per bar close now what this is going to do is once the bar closes and there's a divergence it's going to send you a notification a custom notification and that notification is defined in the source code of the indicator, but you can also just customize it here. You can see the message. This is the default placeholder. So what this is, that it gives the time, the ticker and the time. So various TPD detected at time. I'm going to release a quick update that shortens this. This is like a whole mouthful, right? I'm just going to make an update that shortens this default placeholder. But um, that's pretty much it for the alerts. So how that works is once a TPD forms, when let's say if you set it for the four hour, let's say you set it for the four hour, once you get a crack in correlation based on candle closures on the four hour chart, you're going to get a notification. And you know, you're gonna come to the chart once the new candle opens, like in this case, the new 10 a.m. candle opens, you would be anticipating some form of shorts, right? And uh, yeah, you can integrate it with your model, however, you feel. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the customizations. So basically you can customize this however you want. Okay. You can change the color to purple. You can change this to green. You can do literally whatever you want. Right. Um, the first one is usually the bullish and the second one is the bearish. Right. So you can change this to green. You can change this to purple. You can also change this to um, purple. You can change the transparency. Hell, you can even turn it off if you don't want it. Right. I personally don't use the dot. <laughs> Excuse me. I had a drink. I personally don't use the dots. I just use the bar coloring. Right. You can do whatever you want. You can match it to your aesthetic. You can make your charts clean, whatever it is you want. It's ready to use right out of the box. And you can just save as a default. Uh, any way you like it, you can save that as the default. So when you load it up, it comes up just how you like it. Um, I made it to be 
very user friendly and to not even need too much customizations. And you can literally open the indicator, load it up and use it right out of the box. So it doesn't really need much customizations, but that's pretty much it. And you know, yeah, I'll probably see you maybe, I don't know, later in another video. GG's.